easy peasy and tasty. That was the worst response ever. Why? What are we cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Black bean burrito. JK, it's a bean medley burrito. With fake meat. No, don't sell it like that. It's Gardein plant-based meat. Still tastes good though. It's tasty. Okay, so we're making <clears throat> vegan style burritos tonight, which I can guarantee will taste amazing. Okay, so I've got my assistant here. Thank you very much. Or I, I will... have my assistant. <laughs> I will be telling him what to do as it should be. Happy wife, happy life. Okay, so do we have a recipe today? No. Absolutely not. Why? I just didn't feel like having a recipe. I just grabbed some ingredients from the store and I'm gonna hope for the best. Everything looks great here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, before we fully start, we have four cameras filming today. The mm. first one is the one I'm speaking to you on. The second one is this one here you're seeing me on. It's actually my iPhone. The next one is the GoPro. And then the fourth one is the other iPhone here in the corner. Those are the four cameras we are filming on today to give you that live cooking show experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into it. What I need you to do today or tonight or right now, chop that onion. We're gonna use half the onion because that is a large onion. Okay, all right, I can do that. Chop up that onion. In the meantime, I'm gonna go wash these peepas. She's all about washing everything. As, as one should be. As one should be. And that's okay. I, I've i gotten used to it over the years. I was a guy who never really washed stuff back in the day. Some might come to a shock to somebody. Washing this? This Half is good. Of it. Yep. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, I never really washed vegetables back in the day. It just wasn't something I did. Maybe that's why my immunity is so good. I'm really good at not getting sick. Megan washes everything. She <laughs> sometimes gets sick more often than me. I don't. I literally, when's the last time I was sick? That's very true, that's very true. Yeah, I think. So I'm not sure how you guys cut your onions, but I just, I, you know, slice them down the centers, make them in rows, and then go sideways on themselves to get sort of that cubed look, so. You know. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit out of here. We're not gonna use the whole bag of this. I'm gonna pop it into a bowl for now because this is came out of the freezer, so I wanna get the rest of it back in the freezer so it doesn't thaw. Oh my God. I'm not the best person at chopping onions, so don't critique me by any means, please. But as you can tell, we have chopped onions. Okay, so what you wanna do, let's head to the stove. Uh, hello? Oh, that's the wrong one. A little bit of a flame there. My eyes are burning. Didn't wear my goggles today on cooking, uh, sorry, cutting onions. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of, boop, a little bit of oil there. Not too much, but just a little bit. My eyes are burning. And then cheese, I'm gonna get you to pop those onions into, you know what, I'll just do it. Go ahead. Cause I'm here and do we're here. Do we need here. any olive oil in there or just? Uh, I, I put it in there. Oh, okay. Okay. My eyes are so, burning. I said this in the previous video that we made with Megan cooking a coconut curry. Wear goggles when you're cutting your onions. Did I learn from my advice? No. Nope. Okay. okay. I washed the cutting board. Yes, of course you did. I washed the peppers. Almost wiped my eyes with onion hands. And now what cheese is going to do. Yes, that's our nickname. Okay, just that's fine. Slice them into little... Little thin slices. Little okay? fun slices, people. Fun little thin slices. It's enough slices. I love Jim Carrey. I'm gonna pop this. Mmm. Actually, that doesn't smell like anything. I think I was smelling something else. Pop this in here. Do you think that's enough? Or yes. more? Yes, okay. When so we've got our, it looks like ground beef, doesn't it? But it's not. So the purpose of this video today is to show you how to create a home cooked meal in under 20 minutes. I'm really hoping that this My video is God. under 20 minutes. So 
without further ado, we're just going to go along with our cooking here. How's it going over there? The onions are just cooking away. I'm really appreciating how you chop them quite nicely. Not too big, not too small, just the right amount. Professional chef over here. Correct. Now, with the lettuce, I just added the lettuce to the list because I thought it would be a nice little added touch for when we go and fill our burrito. Just add a little bit of lettuce there. So, gonna do that, wash it up. If you guys are having a good night tonight, let me know what you're cooking in the comments below. Always good to get advice on what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right. I always take constructive criticism with a grain of salt because that's how you get better at anything. So let us all know what you're cooking and how we can do things better. I'm slicing these uh, peppers and then I'm uh, at the same time, you good over there? Yeah, just onions are flying in my face. I'm slicing these and then uh, dicing them as well. I might slice not be using- Slice and dice. Slice and dice. No yelling, please. Sorry. We do have a compost. I'm being a little lazy right now in Don't using be lazy. It. Next time you see me slice and dice an onion. I'm chopping my lettuce. Ooh, jeez. That is loud. Apologies to everybody's eardrums, because mine, that's not a noise I enjoy hearing. What, chopping lettuce? No, that plate. That plate is like... So the lettuce is ready to pop in the burrito. This is to show you that, all of you watching, that being a couple, you can cook in the kitchen together. <laughs> because a lot of people disagree that one person should be cooking in the kitchen, whether it's the husband, the wife, the partner, the spouse, whatever you are to each other, you can both cook in the kitchen together. And it makes a lot, it's actually a lot of fun. The better you get at, you know, working together with each other, the better you- Communication. Except retaliation when, except when you interrupt each other okay next thing i'm doing is opening the bean medley bean medley consists of well chickpeas red beans kidney beans and lima beans i don't know lima, lima beans are actually pretty good i don't actually know what a lima bean is i just said that it's like a at a bomb in a sense except oh, so maybe it is in there could be have a look yeah, I don't know. Uh, and it always keep those juices though. Those are good juices. No, it says rinse before use. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the juices. Oh, oh okay. That's never nice. You heard it here first, folks. It's never nice. <laughs> Megan is all about washing vegetables 700 times in a row, whereas, like I mentioned earlier, I'm all about eating dirt. Dirt. Well, just in terms of not washing things. So I've diced, sliced, and diced my peppers here. Look at these. Wow. I'm actually really proud of myself. Uh, we've got the ground beef here. We've got the tortillas, the taco seasoning, the avocado, which I will slice and dice. This onion we don't need. We'll put it into the fridge. Looks great. Now what we are we going to do? Apparently we have an old onion actually in here. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's old and it's gone. Oh, okay. I'm going to I'm sorry go for wasting ahead onions. and pop these into... Whoa, that's a large one that did not get chopped. Who <gasps> did that chopping job? Not me. Okay, it's going into the pan, pot. What is this? It's a it's walk, a actually. Last time she didn't know what it was, it was a pan. Apparently it's, Jesus, it's still a it's pan. It's what? You thought it was a pan last time. Oh. No, I wanted it's a vegetable. Well, hold on, we need to wash it again. It doesn't need to be washed. Well, yes, because now we're Why cutting- Why is this open? Now we're cutting the avocado. It's not like you get cross-contamination so, of vegetables. Actually, if yes, you, you can. <laughs> If you guys know- No, wait, I need to dry it. <laughs> if you can get cross-contamination of vegetables, show yes, me in the can, comments actually. and give me some citations or a link or something that proves it. Yeah, E. coli lives in vegetables sometimes. Right, am I right? Am I right? She's definitely- Whoa. I am right. So Whoa, we need to turn this down. How do you guys cut your, oh my God, my eyes are itchy. How do you guys cut your avocados? I go down and then I go sideways. It creates little cubes 
It is like the perfect way. And the thing is with an avocado, it's super soft. I didn't think of it, but do you want cheese on your burrito? Or no? Yes. Because we have regular cheese for him, dairy-free cheese, vegan cheese for me. So Megan is a full vegan for just about a year now. Correct. I have worked on being a vegan more, I don't want to use worked on being a vegan. I have limited my meat intake more over the past years so that I can accommodate her in regards to meals that we make together, but I still do eat meat at current times, just not as much as I used to. That's okay. There's other alternatives that I've really created that taste good, right? Correct. Okay, time to send those beans in. Actually, you know what? I should probably put this in here because it's frozen, so let's get that in there. up a tiny bit and then the beans you can do any beans you want like don't feel like you need to do a bean medley if you just like chickpeas more power to you if you just want black beans more power to you but we went for the bean medley bean medley is really good actually it is it's got like a good variety of everything there we really go. with the salsa it's just to go into the burrito once we're done. And is the salad done? That's, yeah, to go oh, into okay. the burrito. It's done. You cut up the avocado, just cube the avocado. That would be it's awesome. Cubed. But scoop it out and pop it there so then oh. we can really like get it on to the burrito yeah. easily. Okay, so we just bought this old El Paso taco, mild. Whoa, where's the camera? It's like way over here, mild. Right, so you can actually create your own, you know, it does have 0.1 grams of protein per serving. So it's a protein. It's good for protein. Lots of sodium though, so I'm not a big fan of that. However, it does give you that taco kind of feel. The so flavor. The flavor, flavor. Make your own if you'd like. I don't have a recipe. There's the ingredients. <laughs> we have no idea how to make our own The ingredients seasoning. here are cornstarch, salt, spices, Mal maltodextrin. There's a lot of chemicals Anyways. in everything. You can't make it by yourself. You need to go to a factory. Anyways, cubed up my avocado. I'm add some slowly of this spreading it on the plate here. Looks really good. Look at that. You guys can't really. Look oh, at I it. have you to. You can sort of see it, but I have to cut this. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> <gasps> Pretty much here. We got like a plate of greens. Looks delicious. I'm gonna be smart. Here we go. Avocado shell into the compost. Here I am, dusting the taco seasoning mix into our burrito mix. Do we need to use the whole packet? Yes. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Ah, that's a lot of sodium. Well, that's all right. When you have your, where am I putting this? When you have your- This is real beanie. You know the saying, Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your so beans at it. So what? Eat your beans at every meal. I was gonna say, I don't even remember the end song. I, I had a different, I have a fully different ending to what you have. Oh, well. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So, so let's meal. have beans for every meal. Oh, close enough. Okay. I didn't use the whole package. Maybe have a taste test and see if you're happy with the- I'm happy. The spice quality of it. Happy. Fine. Do you guys, when you're cooking, do you go from having a dirty kitchen and while you're making your food, do you cook and clean at the same time? Yes. If you were looking to an answer, oh, sorry. Yes. The for an answer yes. to that, yes. All right. So I we're pretty much almost I almost feel like it's here. ready to go. Let oh, me yeah. just do a quick couple minutes test. here, and you know, burritos another twenty minutes. You could cook this with meat, by the way. Same difference. Blend it all together. The meat will cook ground beef, as opposed to the uh, the Y V E S Yves is what it's called. Ground beef. Yeah. Fake ground beef, but. Sardine. 
everything's cooked already, but in under 20 minutes, you can create a burrito that's delicious. The peppers have a good crunch. I'm not sure well, if crunch you want. Oh, crunch is good. I'd like, uh, crunch is we'll good. try it. Don't jam it in my Sorry. mouth. Sorry. Yeah, a little no, bit more. No, 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 that's a good crunch. I like that. That's tasty. Okay, tasty. So let's go ahead and turn this off. So I wonder what our time is at right now. Cause I think. 18. 18 minutes? Already 18 minutes? Oh, it's about like 17. Jam, I thought it was at like 10. So there's the first one. It's crazy. One of these is 170 calories. Like you gotta be kidding me. Why? How does one stay fit? Like, jeez. Anyways. Okay, bring the walk over, place it on this puppy here. Bum, ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba. So the first, I don't know how you guys layer it, but when you have limited ingredients in regards to what we have. You burnt yourself. It's really hot. Why did you touch it? The whole, I just touched it. Oh yeah, don't do that. So I will, I'll make the first burrito. Okay. We got salsa. Now, do you guys spread it in the center or do you do it all over so that you get sticky parts that connect together? From there, a little bit of lettuce. Don't need a lot. Mm -hmm. It's there for the crunch. Oh, yeah. And then we've got uh, the center piece here. The pi piece. Piece de resistance. Thank you. Stole the words out of Arigato. my mouth. Arigato. Now, Megan always <laughs> overloads her burrito, and she can <laughs> never fold it. Well, challenge accepted. For me here. Did you put avocado on there? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my oh. god. Avocado. Boom. Avocado down. And just like that, boom, bada boom. We also have a Caesar salad that Megan er made earlier. She'll bring it out right now, actually, if oh. you want to. We made it earlier. It's delicious. It's a vegan friendly as well from the book, oh. cookbook, Oh She Glows. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a bit of that on my uh, meal here. It's incredible. Mm. It actually tastes like a Caesar salad fully. Yes. Yeah, that's, oh, that's good. That's Too good. much. No, that's fine. That's Kay. fine. Perfect. So here's my meal. Megan will make hers, but I'm going to go enjoy now. Thank you so much for enjoying, guys. Enjoy Megan making her meal. She'll give you her two cents. But wait, aren't you going to cut it open and show the fans? Oh, well, you can do that. Oh. I'll hover over so you. I got to do the hard work. I'll hover work. over you like a husband being like, oh, that's too much salsa. Oh, well, that's rude. Oh. Come on, quicker. We have a time limit. Okay, okay. Let's get some avocado. The avocado. Here we go. And? The piece de la risotto. No, no, no. Piece de risotto. Oh. It's okay, it's a mess. It's just a mess. That's just me. I'm a mess. Now, I think that's full. That's enough. That's okay. Enough Here we go. So. <laughs> oh, you go like this. No, <laughs> no, let me do it. The Taco Bell says do it like. Uh, Don't touch my burrito. Taco Bell says put it in the center. Now fold it. Oh, okay. And then now scoop it. Oh, bring, okay. the, Can they bring those it, sides in. Like tuck this. Like, yeah, I am. Don't yell. <laughs> and then a tuck. What is it? Keep going. Nice. It's gonna fall back apart in one bite. Now push yours up to the top. We're gonna get some Caesar Shoot. salad on here. I need to redo this. Why? There. Yes, but it's right at the plate. It's right at the plate. <laughs> what? And the Caesar salad. Just like that. Just like this and bit. just like that. There you go. A 20 minute burrito. Now let's we'll, open it up. Yeah, we'll cut one open. We'll cut yours open. Can I can I show it off though? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, guys. Look at the center of that. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, ready? Bada bing. Bada boom bada oh. Boom, bada, boom. This is hers. Ba -da 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 -da. Mine's over there, but. 
Well, you want to take a bite, you can show them how it's like. Let's, okay, yeah, that's my Have favorite part, really. Tell me how it is. Full taste test, please. Response? Any day. Easy peasy and tasty. That was the worst response ever. Why? Do not yell. Sorry. It was really, really good. You should try it. I believe you. I'm going to eat mine in a second. Peace out. Thanks for joining us. If you liked what you watched, what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that notification bell to see when we put out a next video. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Peace out.